Uh, this year it's very difficult to say because we've only rode in Newcastle and it was very, very wet. So I wouldn't rate that at all, but that was only because of the weather conditions. But I think Berwick always put a lot of preparation into their, their circuit. Some tracks just get up on the morning of the race day and do a little bit of grading here and there. I know the guys at Berwick are so dedicated, they're in here day in, day out. So it, is, it will end up being one of the best tracks in the country once it settles down. Oh, it's a very nice track, yeah. It's a lot bigger than the old one, I bet it in the lock. There are three track curators, John Robertson, Ian Ray, and Bill Mitchell. Bill is seen here, along with Dougie Logan, wiring up the trackside warning system. All wires lead to the official's box. I think it will, it's a lot faster and it should be better for racing, take the away teams longer to suss it out maybe. Are you hoping to up your average this season? Definitely, I think that's what everybody's out to do. What do you think of the new track and how does it compare with other tracks? It's very different from other tracks and more, more, most tracks are smaller uh, and not so banked. There's just Exeter really that's got a big banking. I would say so, yeah, definitely for the spectators, yeah. Thank you. As they take on Sheffield Tigers, problems persist for Radio Borders Bandits. But all is not lost. Wesley Waite is making his debut and entertains the crowd with his exciting style of riding. Some compare to that of former Berwick rider Rob Grant. One of two former bandits in the team there is with that close call case now. It is dangerous. Arrow Beats! <laughs> and up with number five for the Tigers. 25 years old and I still think of the best fighter. And of course with the team to be declared to change to the Sheffield lineup the way that they number from one to seven. That means that Renny Ash is up to number four. Renny Ash! Wesley is also joined on the team by Martin Dixon.
had a lot of problems, but I think they're going to pick themselves up and go well. They've had a lot of problems with radars and things, injuries, which isn't you can't really help. But we should pick it up and do better, I hope, by the end of the season. Sheffield's Carl Stone here has a brilliant night and completes it by breaking the track record with a time of 66.6 .6 seconds. Eric's Craig Taylor has sustained a broken ankle and is out of the squad for an estimated two months. What were Craig's thoughts at the start of the Yeah, season? I hope so. I mean, the track's still very soft at the moment, but I mean, when it settles down, I think it will give good advantage to the arm riders. Are you hoping to up your average this season? Yeah, very much so. You know, uh, new club, uh, new atmosphere, so just trying to do my best at my average. This means that both David Meldrum and Peter Scully will get extra rides, along with Rennie Madsen. This is due to the rider replacement rule. Craig broke his ankle during the second leg of the 14 tournament at Newcastle. Meanwhile, promoter Mike Hope has taken the step of banning all riders from guesting for other teams, at least until they get back to full strength. It's an entertaining meeting. With some controversial moments, like this one involving Sheffield's Steve Knott. All goes to a last heat decider. Berwick lose. 44 to 46. <laughs> this means that Berwick have won only one of their last 11 league fixtures. How do you feel about getting on the team? Well, I'm really thrilled to get my chance, as you know. I was um, 
I was riding not so bad at the start of the season, but due to one, season, one thing after another, um, I broke my wrist, unfortunately. Uh, but now I've had my chance to write and hopefully I'll be able to uh, maybe hold down my team spot. Um, I'm trying, but I'm not off the pace, but I just need to work on my start. If I get up the start, then I should be up with the heat leaders. You've done well tonight, haven't you? Well, I'd like to think so, but uh, I'll be trying to put it that way. Uh, so all you can do is try. Last heat decider, I've got a point in my last ride, final. I hope we win. Oh, why aren't you riding tonight? Um, well, what it was, I was riding last Sunday, and I had an accident, a crash, and I hurt my ankle, and I've been told to rest it for a few weeks before I come back. Like, have you been given a date when you can come back? Hopefully, I should be all right to come back for when Stoker at home, like Stoker here, the race against Stoker here. That's late like in a fortnight's time. The tea bar is nearly ready. Hello, Alfie. 